everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Thanks once again for joining me. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world, and it's time to take a look at our week ahead. So the week ahead focuses on what we might be seeing happening in the news and the energies surrounding us for the week. Now, um, this is for the United States, but it could be beyond that as well. So it's just pulling in whatever energies are gonna be surrounding us out in the field, okay. So, all right, so what do we have going on this week? So the major theme or focus this week, we have the New Beginnings card. This is the Fool. Now, what came to me with this is diving in with this picture here, diving in, taking the plunge hoping for the best, feeling supported in new endeavors, and taking risks. So that's kind of the theme or focus is new directions, new endeavors, taking risks, whether that be individually or collectively in society, we're gonna be seeing that kind of theme with people wanting to dive in and do something new. It may seem risky, it may even seem going off a little half-cocked a little bit. We will have to see how it plays out individually and collectively, but that's kind of the energy of it. The hidden influence we have, the hanged man. The key word there is limbo. And things I wrote down for this is sacrifice, feeling the squeeze being pulled in two directions. These were the things I was sensing with it. Being suspended or hanging in the balance. Uh, being upside down and perspectives can be misleading when you're upside down. So what I was doing when I was sensing into this card is this person here is upside down, they're hanging and you can see kind of the light shining through with the golden rays of the light shining and then this a little darker down below where their head is and the feeling was sometimes when things are upside down um pers your perspective can be limited and it could cause some confusion or at least not seeing the whole picture or the bigger picture so the hidden influence to me was having our perspective and what we're seeing around us be a little clouded or a little misguided. And so it's going to take a little effort this week to gain proper perspective. Okay, the next is what is gonna be out in the open this week? I've got the Eight of Cups. This is kind of a sad card of having to move on from something uh, needing to pass on something, kind of a self-preservation a little bit, but needing to pass on something offered or having to move on from something that's been troublesome. Kind of has you weary, but that's what's coming out in the open. It's not going to be something hidden anymore. It's the need to move on from something that's going to become so glaringly obvious that it's a problem, that you really can't hide it. It's kind of like someone who's hiding an issue that they're dealing with, and sometimes that issue just gets to be where they can't hide it anymore. That's kind of the feeling with this. It's going to be out in the open, this need to preserve what's left and just move in, a new, move in a new direction, which could possibly be fueling this card here, this desire to jump in and do something new. So the lesson this week, we have the 10 of Pentacles. Now this card is generally a positive card of home and family, sometimes having to do with finances, what I sensed with it was getting affairs in order, protecting assets, stability, and resources. The lesson for this week is going to be about protecting assets, um, 
digging deeper, finding the resources you need for stability. It could be like finding work, finding something to stabilize your positions, um, maybe s protecting your home or your interests. That's going to be kind of a big thing is getting affairs in order and things in order. And what are we letting go of this week? Now this is interesting. We have the seven of wands on that. The key word here is endurance. This is a card of having to stick to something challenging and move through it. Usually it's about getting the upper hand over a challenging situation. But in terms of what are we letting go of, and with this card of endurance, to me it was like having to hold the line, feeling attacked or assaulted, being in survival mode. These are things that are, that are going to be released, and that's the challenge this week is to let go of those things, let go of that fight or flight, being in fear, um, having to resist, feeling attacked, assaulted, uh, all of that. Being in survival mode. It's really not a way to live. If you're just living to survive, you're not really living. You're just surviving, okay? Living is about getting beyond that and using your creativity, blending that with your talents, your skills, and your interests and making a life and making things happen rather than being a victim of things that are happening to you. So there's a shift there and that's what we need to let go of is that fight or flight, I have to fight mentality. Because I think there's a shift coming. There's something coming that's going to shift our perspective, but it's gonna take it's going to take a level of creativity to come through it. Okay. So what do we need to know this week? I've got the vision card. And for some reason, this card was speaking to me in terms of this card. This card of kind of being in limbo, hanging in the balance and not being able to see things clearly. And this is a card of vision, being able to see clearly. To me, they were somehow related. And this is what do we need to know. And what I sense with this is our worldview needs to expand and is expanding. And this is, this is what's coming as a natural result of the things that we'll be letting go of, especially letting go of that fight or flight, um, having to be in survival mode and to fend off attackers. This is a card of creative vision about what you wanna see happen in the future. And it's a really positive influence. So that mentality is possible. To It is possible to let go of the worldview that kind of sucks you down and holds you down in favor of something that is more expansive and helpful and beautiful. So the overall outcome for this week I found interesting because this is the card of endings, things being over. Now interesting because we started this week with new beginnings and ending this week with this is what the ultimate outcome is, is ending. So something is shifting. I kind of got a sense of it on the month ahead video as well, but we're coming into a time of, of a shift, of a change, and not all endings are bad. Sometimes endings can be really good, especially if what you've been going through is challenging or bad. So there's a lot of energy moving through this week to shift into something new and better. And I think it does have to do with letting go of fight or flight, outworn ideas that, don't, that no longer serve, and to know that 
this too shall pass. Like not everything is going to remain as it is because there's too much change going on. There's change in the air and there's too much change going on to keep things the way they are. So this is going to really be about what, what people want to create. If we stay stuck in the fear, then what we're gonna create is just more, more things to be fearful of. So it's gonna be a conscious mindset of just saying, you know what, we, we, can't, we can't continue to live in fear, we have to get out and change and do and be creative. Creativity kills fear. Creativity kills darkness, really, because it is that spark of life when we are in a creative mode. When we are in a creative mode, that's what the darkness fears most, is our creativity. Humanity rising is part of this creative process that we are involved in. And the low vibrations of fear and keeping us in that fight or flight mode of survival, that prevents us from creating from making things better, from creating a better world. And so the challenge is to stay out of those low vibrations of fear and embrace a higher vibration and a higher density. And it can happen. Um, we just have to be mindful of it. And sometimes you just have to choose, even if you're scared spitless, you have to choose to just not be afraid and to move forward anyway and just trust that things will work out. So sometimes those measures are called for where you just have to jump out, kind of like this new beginning, you know, diving in, taking a risk, not really know, knowing what's ahead, but it's better than where you're at. So that could be the squeeze I was feeling, kind of a squeeze coming in this week. The squeeze is getting people out of being complacent. You can't you can't stay here anymore. This isn't this isn't working. Being stuck in low vibration density and fear and survival isn't working. And that's what the squeeze is for. It's uncomfortable, but it it's 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 kind of helpful in a way. If you're going through something like that, that short squeeze is actually helpful because it might be the one thing that gets you out of the stuck place that you might feel you're in. So be mindful of that if you're going through something like that. And I would say probably a lot of people are because there's a lot of squeeze going on. Okay. Oh, and underneath all of this this week, we, we do have the Knight of Swords, a card of taking action, being decisive. But there's also drama is the key word. So there could be a lot of that going along with this week. Could be a lot, a uh, lot of drama. So anyway, all right, that's what I've got for this week. So um, I hope this was helpful. And if you liked it, leave a like. And be sure to follow me on my other channels as well so you can keep updated. And uh, I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.